हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सेट मंत्रा सी सेट मेड इजी एंड अफोर्डेबल वेलकम टू आवर डेली डोस ऑफ सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस फॉर मोर सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस एंड कॉन्सेप्ट्स काइंडली जॉइन आवर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू एनरोल इन आवर कोर्स काइंडली विजिट सी सेट मंत्रा डॉट कॉम बोथ द लिंक्स आर गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन द नंबर ऑफ पैरालोग्राम्स दैट कैन बी फॉर्मड फ्रॉम ए सेट ऑफ फोर पैरल लाइंस इंटरसेक्टिंग अनदर सेट ऑफ फोर पैरल लाइंस इज This question is from permutation and combination chapter. It is asked in 2019. Now, what is parallelogram? Parallelogram is a quadrilateral with opposite sides parallel to each other, my friends. Quadrilateral means four-sided closed shape. Okay, quad means four, right? Tri means three. So, quadrilateral is Four-sided closed shape. See, one, two, three, four. It has four sides, and all sides are closed, my friends. Okay, so quadrilateral is the four-sided closed shape. Now, in quadrilaterals, this is one special case, my friends. Okay, where opposite sides are parallel. So, when opposite sides are parallel, we call that quadrilateral as parallelogram. Clear, right? See, this side is parallel to this side. This side is parallel to this side, and uh, this side's length is equal to this side length. This side length is equal to this side length, my friends. Clear? Now there are some special cases in parallelogram. When this angle is 90 degrees, we call it as rectangle, my friends. See, this side is parallel to this side. This side is parallel to this side. Opposite sides are of equal length. Okay, these two sides are of equal length, and these two sides are of equal length. Now, when this angle is ninety degrees and all sides are equal, my friends. Okay, in that case, we call that parallelogram as square. Here, opposite sides are equal. Here. All sides are equal, my friends. Okay, this is the difference between rectangle and a square. When it comes to rhombus, all sides are equal. Opposite sides are parallel to each other. But this angle need not be 90 degrees, my friends. See, in parallelogram, all sides need not be equal, my friends. And this angle not necessarily 90 degrees. Whereas in rhombus, all sides are equal. and this angle is not 90 degrees okay it is an extension of square my friends in square the angle is 90 degrees whereas in rhombus the angle is not necessarily 90 degrees clear right this is a question from permutation and combination chapter i don't want to go into the geometry part of it in geometry chapter we have seen area of these parallelograms when sides lengths are given when diagonals lengths are given diagonals properties my friends Our diagonals are of equal length. Do they bisect each other? The perimeter of these parallelograms, sides length, diagonals length, angle between the adjacent sides, relation between opposite angles. Okay, we have seen all these things in geometry chapter. I request you to kindly go through them. These properties are very important, my friends. They will come in handy in almost all the exams. Now let's come back to our parallelogram. To draw a parallelogram, we need two parallel vertical lines and the two parallel horizontal lines. See, these two lines are not exactly vertical, but I am calling them as vertical. No problem, right? So to draw a parallelogram, we need two parallel vertical lines, two parallel horizontal lines. This is the symbol for parallel lines. Let me reframe the same sentence. If you have two parallel vertical lines and if you have two parallel horizontal lines, then you can draw a parallelogram, my friends. Clear, right? Now let's say you have n parallel vertical lines. All these red color lines, my friends. Okay, they are parallel. They are vertical. We have n number of them. Now among these n parallel lines, you have to select two parallel lines, my friends. Okay, how many ways you can select? N C two out of n parallel lines, you are selecting two parallel lines, my friends. Okay, it is a selection. That's why the combination. Now you have m parallel horizontal lines. These blue color lines, my friends. Okay, they are parallel. They are horizontal. They are in m number. Now I want to select two parallel lines out of these m parallel lines, my friends. Okay, in how many ways I can select m C two? So to draw a parallelogram, we have to select. Two parallel lines out of n parallel vertical lines, my friends, and 
How do you represent and in permutation and combination with multiplication, my friends? Okay, and you have to select two parallel horizontal lines out of m parallel horizontal lines, my friends. Okay, so when n parallel vertical lines are given and m parallel horizontal lines are given, you can select two parallel vertical lines and two parallel horizontal lines in these many ways, my friends. So you will be having these many number of parallelograms see with each selection you will be having a parallelogram with these many selections you will be having these many number of parallelograms my friends clear right this is the beauty of permutation and combination you cannot manually calculate all these parallelograms my friends okay so permutation and combination will make your life easier it's a smart way of counting my friends okay so we are selecting two lines out of n lines two lines out of m lines okay so once you select these two lines you have to select these two lines also you have to select these two lines and you have to select these two lines and is replaced by multiplication in permutation and combination my friends okay now what is the expansion of nc2 n into n minus 1 by 2 into 1 similarly mc2 m into m minus 1 by 2 into 1 we have seen this in permutation and combination chapter my friends okay kindly go through it don't remember it as a formula my friends okay understand the concept here okay nc2 into mc2 you no need to remember this if at all you want to remember just remember this one you know the expansion of this right okay nc2 and mc2 now see in this problem we have four parallel lines intersecting another four parallel lines okay so n is equal to 4 and m also 4 so 4 into 4 minus 1 okay 3 by 2 into 1 into m is 4 okay 4 into 4 minus 1 3 by 2 into 1 so 2 into 2 4 so 4 4 gets cancelled out so 3 into 4 12 12 into 3 36 so our answer is d my friends 36 now, if you don't know this concept, if you want to calculate the number of parallelograms by drawing this diagram, it will be too complicated, my friends. Okay, you won't arrive at the solution that easily. This is not the smart way of solving the problem, my friends. Okay, permutation and combination is all about counting. When counting is complicated, think of permutation combination. Here, the counting is very complicated. So, you cannot solve this problem by going like, okay, this is one parallelogram, this is one parallelogram, this is one parallelogram. So, think of permutation and combination. This will make your life easier. See, NC2 and MC2. How easy the problem is. Now, comment your answer below when four parallel lines intersecting three parallel lines, my friends. Okay, number of parallelograms formed. See, they cannot ask the problem like how many rectangles formed or how many squares formed. In that case, the problem will be complicated because in parallelograms, we have parallelograms, rectangles and squares. When they ask rectangle, we have to subtract parallelograms among them and squares among them, my friends. Okay, when they ask squares, we have to subtract parallelograms and rectangles. So, this formula will not work. In that case, we have to manually count. So, if the problem involves manual counting, then the problem will be easier, my friends. Okay, you no need to worry about this. They understand the complexity. That's why they will frame the easier question.